Hey everyone, welcome to our TWM 12 video on Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. In this one we have built the Nyat class battleship. Forgive me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I am Northern Irish and I'm probably getting a lot of pissy Russians going, you're not pronouncing it right? I'm way winding you up. But please do not take offence to how I'm pronouncing it. My, I'm, I'm, I'm horrible at pronouncing Russian words. Anyways, bit of the history on her first. Originally she was laid down in 1901 I believe. Then launched in 1911, then officially commissioned in 1915. Well, at that point, some of her, she would have been considered obsolete in a lot of ways due to her armor. However, her armament was still pretty powerful. Mainly, it was just the armor layer that was letting her down. However, her service history was a very interesting one. It really was. It was a dreadnought that survived and stayed in service until 1956. With her being renamed in 1925 to the October Oktoberskaya Revolution, or October Revolution, forgive my pronunciation again, it's horrible. So, a bit of her service life and history. To my knowledge, in the First World War, she served in the Baltic Fleet with the 5th Battleship Brigade, in which she didn't really venture out too far in. She'd done some covering for mine laying fleets, etc, etc. Though her real call of flame, fame happened when... In 1941, she was taken up from Tallinn and was forced to sail to Kronstadt to help support the battle in Leningrad and Kronstadt against the German 18th Army. Essentially, she became a floating artillery battery in the river between them and it allowed her to be able to help. Well, she didn't really say river, it's more of a channel, but pretty much it allowed them to help hold the Germans. She became a mobile artillery and anti-aircraft battery when she later was equipped with new anti-aircraft capabilities and new anti-aircraft weapons during a bit of a retrofit. So, her real call to fame was the defence of Len Leningrad and, Kronstadt, and Kronstadt. She also supported Soviet forces during the lenin Novgorod offensive in 44 and the Piskovoida, or I have no, I have no idea how to pronounce it, the Feuerberg Pitzrovic uh, offensive in June 1944. I can't pronounce it correctly, I'm sorry, but I tried. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into this here game. She'll be fighting a German Empire Dreadnought of the same era. So, we'll see how she does against it. First one, there we go. Get her down to flank speed and speed this up a wee bit. Looks like the German battleship got the first shells off there. Two main guns. Bring. So it looks like most of my guns are on target. Ooh, that's a nice wee broadside. No hits. Well, of course, as I'm not surprised. There's not. Wasn't expecting to get loads of hits at that range, admittingly. So I'm. I don't think our armor's going to do too well, admittingly. I might be wrong, but. It'll be interesting to see. I believe in the Siege of Leningrad, she actually survived quite a lot of bomb hits from the Stukas. So, I know I might be wrong. Oh, I really might be. Because I believe her... I can't I think it was her bar turret was knocked out, I think. Can't, I can't remember. I need to brush up on my Soviet and um, Russian Empire naval history. I think I need to for my next few, my next few videos on this here game. Mm, shit, I'm maybe dropping there too much information. Anyways, trying to keep trying to keep my secretness, but that's me. So let's see how this battle goes. Come on, hopefully she'll do well. Fire, not too bad. Hmm. Seems my secondaries are starting to get in the range of my six inch guns. I think I got a bounce there. Come on. Identification, let's see what she's called. Oh, the Wiesenberg. 
13 is she's got stronger armor than me and she's faster with 40 bigger guns actually and a shit ton of secondaries mm. she seems to be holding her own though seems to have got her rudder I believe and she's flooding so she's actually not doing that bad that's actually quite shocking nice wee shotgun barrage off she goes come on bring her back around so I stand corrected Nyat would have done quite well actually against her era of dreadnoughts hmm I think as long as she played the more of a support role at the start of the battle then advanced in I think she would do a lot she would probably do better but I think that would be I think that would probably be the best way for her some dreadnoughts were designed to get in brawling and take one hell of a fucking beating while others are more support and I think this one's more I think this type of dreadnought is more a, su a fire support and artillery support going by the layer of our armament because she has to be nearly fully broadside to bring all our main guns to bear which is a massive disadvantage in naval warfare because once you're fully broadside it exposes a lot of your key components such as your magazine, your citadel areas, the side of the bridge, your fuel, your ammunition. It exposes everything actually nearly that is vital to the ship's functioning. I'll turn her in a wee bit. I'm trying to keep as much angle as you can see. You just got two of my casemates there and set me on fire. Oh, cheeky fucker dropped the torpedo. I can hardly drop, I can hardly talk, I'm using torpedoes as well, like, secondary tar, cloning tar, not too bad. Don't want to turn too sharply, want to keep fire, oh, that was a fair exchange, fire and flooding, I got fire and flooding as well, it looks like I possibly killed the, command, the bridge commanders, that the bridge officers are dead, so that's good, at least. and level her out a wee bit with the rudder. I want to try and keep as many of my main guns on her as possible. Oh, two nice pens. Weisenberg. How are you doing? Oh, she's got some nasty bloody holes in the rear of her. Oh, that sounds good though. Oh my god. Only one of my guns have received a hit. Oh, that was close. Damage to the casemate. Damage to my tar, but most of them barns. Thank uh, that was as thankful. Most of them barns. Hmm, she's not doing bad. She really isn't. To the naval designers that built this here, you know what? You did pretty well. This battleship, this here. Well, I don't know if you. Well, maybe after a retrofit, you could call her a battleship. But this dreadnought was doing pretty well. Another reason I say it after the retrofit and that's because the retrofit gets her much needed at the aircraft capabilities whereas in this game you haven't had any aircraft need or capabilities added. However I did add her 3 inch gun at the rear of the ship as it was the only place I could actually add her. I admittingly I just added so she had all her main armaments that she would have. Oh there we go heavy flooding. So there we go the battleship Nyat our October Revolution is done pretty well. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you like me talking about the bit of the history of the ship. I know I don't know everything, but I hope you find it interesting. And please drop a like and subscribe. And please let me know if you do like me talking about a bit of the ship history before I get into the game. Anyways, thanks for thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed the video.